Southwest 3216 only time, runway 24 right to line. Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be talking about a common question that comes up both on the Pilot Edge network and in the real world. And that is when flying with VFR flight following, are you allowed to transition a class Delta airspace without talking to the control tower who actually owns that airspace? In today's situation, we're flying VFR from Orange County, California up to Big Bear, California. Our route of flight takes us directly between the Charlie airspace for March and the Charlie airspace for Ontario. However, since we're low level, we'll be going right through the Riverside class Delta airspace that goes up to and not including 2,700 feet. As we begin to near the class Delta airspace for Riverside, let's take a look at what's happening on the air traffic control side of things. Riverside Empire, 12 line VFR point. Riverside. 6 South of Riverside, Skyhawk 210, Papa Echo, 2500 Northeast. Skyhawk 0, Papa Echo, point out approved, AB. CC. What you just witnessed is a standard example of the coordination that will occur on ATC's side of the mic when an aircraft with flight following is going to transition towers airspace. Per the FAA air traffic controller's rules and regulations, ATC should coordinate this for you. But unfortunately, it's not that simple. At least, not in the eyes of the FAA and local FISDOs. We'll reference two documents, both publicly available online. The first one dates back to 2006 and is a response letter from the FAA to a few hypothetical questions that an individual posed in hopes of seeking clarification on this very topic. The response letter sums up the hypothetical question as being an aircraft approaching a Class Charlie airspace owned by a TRACON while talking to an in route controller. The FAA's response indicates the pilot would be in violation of Section 91.130C if he or she were to enter the Class Charlie airspace while talking to the center rather than the TRACON. In fact, the FAA even specifies that even if the pilot does not receive a handoff from the center controller to the TRACON controller, it would not relieve the pilot of the responsibility to establish two-way radio communication with the TRACON prior to entering the Class Charlie airspace. This letter concludes by saying the receipt of draft advisories, or flight following, does not relieve the pilot of the responsibility outlined in CFR 91.3. Our next reference dates back to 2017 and is a bulletin put out by the FAA to air traffic controllers on the same topic. The bulletin references the same paragraph we looked at earlier, where it mentions that it is the controller's job to coordinate this VFR transition. And there's even a note that I didn't show you earlier where it says the pilots are not expected to obtain their own authorization when in contact with a radar facility. However, this bulletin continues to reference the aim and how receiving flight following does not eliminate any requirement for the pilot to comply with the rules. The bulletin goes on to acknowledge that the wording between the controller's rules and regulations versus that of 14 CFR 91 can be confusing, but it circles back around to pilots having the overall responsibility for complying with Class Delta communications requirements. So where does this leave us? Unfortunately, we have to leave it at a frustrating conclusion of it depends. It seems that despite it being the job of the air traffic controller to coordinate your transition, even if the controller doesn't do their job, the pilot still needs to do theirs. However, as a pilot, unless ATC specifies that your transition has been coordinated, something they're not required to tell you, then you have no way of knowing if they've done it for you other than asking ATC if they've done their job. Because of all this, some TRACONs have been known to deny flight following below 3000 AGL or instructing aircraft to remain at or above a certain altitude in order to keep them above all of the tower's airspaces. So next time you're going to be passing through a Class Delta or Charlie airspace while you're talking to a radar controller on flight following, it might be worth your while to ask the controller if they've coordinated your transition with the tower controller. Chances are the controller's done their job in order to protect you, but it never hurts to check. Practice these procedures and more with Pilot Edge Live ATC for your home flight simulator. Falcon 495 Charlie X-ray, contact Los Angeles Center, 133.2, aloha.